Hello everyone, this is Ethan. Today we're going to be talking about airflow hooks and big fish. And so just to kick us off, some fun facts. We have the whale shark, which is the largest uh, fish in the world. Really interesting. I mean, look at how large that is. Look how small that guy is. And then we have this long guy um, who is the oar fish. Look how long that is. It's insane. There's 17 people. I counted it up. And then imagine getting swallowed by this big dude. So uh, 26 feet long. It's insane. And so the reason that we're talking about fish is because we're talking about big query hooks or just hooks in general in Airflow. So one of the amazing things about Airflow is that you can extend it. And, you know, I was looking at trying to figure out how to insert data into BigQuery. And so what I did is I went over to the operators and the BigQuery operators, and I looked for a class that said insert all. And so we have the base operator, and then we have a create table, then we have create external table, the delete data set, create empty data set, and that's it. So I was like, where is my insert data? There isn't one. So what we have to do is we have to extend it. We have to use a BigQuery hook. And you know, if you kind of think about it like fishing, uh, you have all of these tables are the fish that Google is essentially saying like, or Airflow is saying like, hey, here are the fish that you can grab. Um, but because we don't have uh, the, insert, uh, the insert class here, we need to build our own. Uh, we need to go fishing. And so we're going to be using the BigQuery hook here. And uh, it's really simple, actually. So you have the uh, BigQuery hook class. And we have, we're going to be using the get connection right here. Um, and all the, in the get query, uh, the get connection here uses the get service method. We look at get service. All it's using is the JSON API. That's it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And uh, Airflow does all of the authentication with service accounts in the back end, so you don't need to worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over to the uh, BigQuery JSON API, and we're going to look at table data. And uh, all I did to, to find this is just typed in BigQuery JSON API. If you, I've also created uh, PubSub. Uh, extensions using the PubSub uh, hook and the PubSub API, JSON API. Um, I've done a, stuff with, a lot of stuff with um, Google Cloud Storage. Uh, it's relatively straightforward when you kind of get the concept of how to use the JSON API. And that's what we're going to really be focusing on today. So you have the table data. And really what it does, it, it posts some data to this, uh, this path. And so we're going to need the project ID, the data set ID, and the table ID. And the big query hook is going to form the response, uh, form the post request for us. And so we're going to go over to the insert all method. And you can see here, we're going to need a data set, just like we said before, we're going to need the data set, the object or the project ID and the table ID. And we need to authenticate the Google cloud platform uh, in our Airflow connections, and then the this is going to be the foundation of our request. So, like based on all of this, we need to use the BigQuery hook in order to uh, in order to make these requests. And the way that you start with that is you go here into the um, connection section in your admin of your Airflow. And I always like creating a new connection to be very explicit about what I'm doing. There is a BigQuery uh, default uh, connection ID, um, but I like to create my own. Um, and so you're just going to go to the BigQuery connection or create it uh, with this right here. Um, in order to do that, uh, in order, you're going to need your service account. And so you're going to go to, you know, here's my BigQuery example, and then service accounts, create a service account, give it BigQuery admin access, create it, download uh, the JSON key, and then you're going to go back to your admin here, and you're going to name it something unique. You're going to select Google Cloud Platform, copy and paste that raw JSON into key file JSON, and then hit save. Keep this connection ID handy, because you're going to need it later. And 
So once you have all that set up, you're going to also need your table. So I have my monster fish data set in my fish sizes table, and I'm going to run this and show you that there's nothing in there. And we're going to be inserting some data here in a second. So now that you're all set up, we're going to be using the JSON API to create our BigQuery hook. I'm going to walk you through the code. So um, what we're going to need to do first here is we're going to need to down, uh, import the base operator, apply defaults, and the BigQuery hook. Um, I also have logging in here to see what's happening with my um, with my data and how it's operating. And I just named this BigQuery insert data operator. You can name it anything you want. And then there were, if you go back to the JSON API, let's go back right here. There were some things that we needed, right? Actually, I'm going to go here because I think it's a little bit more uh, explicit and easy to understand. So we need these data set, project, and table uh, strings. And so what I did was I just had this in um, as the in my init um, method right here, the project ID, table ID, and then we're going to need to insert some data, and then we're going to need our connection ID, right? And that's what we created right here. Okay, we're just going to need the name of that. And so we have our BigQuery hook, and what that takes is a BigQuery connection ID, which we're going to be inserting here, and then we have we're going to be getting the service. So again, when we go back to the BigQuery hook and we look at the code here, we have the BigQuery hook. And then, like I said before, we're going to be getting um, the service. And all that's doing is just getting the uh, JSON API. That's, that's all it is. And so we're going to rely on this documentation in order to make our request. So what we have here is the rows. We have to create a body of our request. And that is what this is right here. So we can add skip invalid rows, ignore unknown values, all of these. And we could also do our insert um, ID uh, if you want to remove duplicates. And But we only want to insert rows. We want to keep it super simple. And then this was kind of confusing when I first started using the JSON API. But uh, once you get it, you get it. You have the service, right? And so the service is how you get access to all of this right here. And then the table data is the uh, method on the service. So table data, table data, it would be projects, jobs, data sets would be right here. And then we have the insert all method, which is right here. So to build the request, you have the service and then you use this, this folder right here, the table data, and then you use uh, the insert all method on that. Then, we use that insert all to then insert all the information that it needs to make the request. So we have the body. That is what this is right here, the request body, pretty self-explanatory. And then we had the project ID, table ID, and data set ID. And that is right here. So those are the parameters. I don't know why it took me so long to get that, but it was kind of a struggle for quite a while. Once I got it, I can you know, now use any of the JSON APIs that Google offers. And so now that we have our, uh, our service and the request that we're going to be creating, we then need to use the execute method on it. The execute method will then make the request, and we're going to log the results and return them. OK. And so that is how we built the BigQuery insert data operator. And now we're going to apply it to a DAG. And this is a very, very, very simple stripped down DAG. We have the models, and then we've imported our BigQuery insert data operator. And you can see that we're using, we have the plugins right here, and we have the name of it right here, and we import it uh, pretty easily right there. So we have the default arguments. This is as stripped down as you pretty much can get it. And then we have our DAG constructor right here, and we're going to call it the BigQuery insert DAG. We're going to schedule interval once, and we're going to import the default args and kind of going back to our JSON API we have our rows and then our JSON and then the two columns that we're going to be using to insert our data at least identify our data we have the whale shark we have the giant or fish and the basking shark with their sizes and the reason that we constructed it like that is because we were following this template right we have our rows and then in there is a list and then 
for each item in that list, you have a dictionary, and then the mandatory key is the JSON key, and then in that JSON, you have a key and a value. It's exactly what we did right here. The JSON key and then the value. And if you go back to our table here, you will see that we have name and size, the string and the float, string and a float. And you know, to make the request is pretty self-explanatory. You know, you have every uh, every operator has to have a task ID. You have the BigQuery connection ID, which is where we uh, we did right here. Let's see. Let's go to our connections. We have our BigQuery connection right here, BigQuery connection, and then we've inserted our DAG, and then the project ID is this right here, and then our data set, going back to this right here, is called MonsterFish, and then uh, our table is fish sizes, and then we have our rows, right? And going back to the, uh, the JSON API, data set ID, project ID, and table ID. And those are going to be encapsulated in the BigQuery insert data operator, and then it will make the request. So let's try this out, huh? So let me just uh, shut down the web server, and we're just going to use the, the test environment. So we have Airflow test, and then we have the name of our DAG, so BigQuery insert DAG, which is right here. So that's a DAG that we're going to be testing. And then we're going to be testing the BigQuery insert example. And then we're going to put a date before now. Oops. And you can see we have our logging in here. We have the kind uh, with BigQuery table insert all response. If there are any errors with our request, it would be in there. And then let's just go back to our table here. Let's run this, and you can see our data is right there. So hopefully this is informative. Um, I know there was a lot, but there are a lot of things that you could do with the BigQuery APIs that are not present in the operators. And so you can use the hooks that BigQuery offers in order to extend it with a JSON API. Please let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns in the in the comments, and I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye bye.